Hi students, this is Alex here. In the video, we have third exercise concept. That is, we have the equation and solution to the equation using the matrix inversion method. So, the matrix inverse method, we have the solution to the equation. So, in the process, we have the equation. If we have the equation, we frame the equation. So, the equation has two variables or three variables. So, two variables are x and y and three variables are x and z. So, if we have two variable equation, how do we solve it? Actually, that process is three equations. Now, there are two equations. And the equation is we use the matrix product. So, in the matrix product, we use the first equation to use the coefficients. Now, for example, if we use the equation, ax plus by is equal to some p. That means cx plus dy is equal to q. Now, in this equation, we use the matrix product. We use the coefficient of a, b, c, d. This is a matrix. Then, we use the matrix of x, y. That is a matrix of x, y. That is a matrix of p, q. This is the first matrix product. Then, this is capital A, this is capital X, this is capital B. Now, if we use x, that is xy. That is the name of capital X. Now, if we use a, 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 we use now, we can see the inverse of A inverse. If we have two rows and two columns of the matrix, we can substitute the B and multiply it. We can see the column matrix. That is the X inner value. So, we can see the solution in this way. We can see the equation in the equation. If we check the equation in the correct solution, we can confirm the answer to the equation. We can confirm the answer to the equation. This is now two equations. Now, there are three equations. There are three equations. So, we will write the three equations in the x, y, z. So, we will write the three equations. For example, if we have the equation a1, x plus a2, y plus a3, z. Okay, this is equal to some value. Maybe d1. That's why we write b1, x plus b2, y plus b3, z is equal to d2. That's why c1, x plus c2, y plus c3 z is equal to d3. So, in this equation, we have a matrix product. So, in this matrix, we have a coefficient in the first row, second row, third row. First row is a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. That's why we have a matrix product. So, d1, d2, d3 constant. So, now we have a capital AX equal to B. We have a matrix product. X is equal to A inverse into B. Third order determinant, third order matrix ini, so ini dorang inverse kandu beri kerana kita nama first determinant value kandu beri kerana, adanya saya ajar usul nama problem dalam kandu mara, adukah pernah dilalui kau cofactor kandu beri kerana cofactor matrix apa potong, adukah cofactor anda peraga adukah pernah adjoint kandu beri kerana adukah cofactor trans transpose panen, once adjoint anda peraga ini yang masuk dalam formula itu one by a determinant into adjoint a. Ini adalah subsidi pun ini nama multiply panen, so ini b orang multiply panen peraga nama kita tiga value orang orang kalau matrix orang, adukah x y z. So, this is the normal way to use the equation in the inverse of the equation. That's why we can use the solution in the equation. That's the difference. If you don't know anything, you can use the equation in the equation.